ultrasound guided breast biopsy is typically performed to sample palpable lumps and fibroadenomas. This imaging guidance is sometimes used as an adjunct to mammography to help identify unclear or non-visible areas of interest in dense breast tissue. The Suros ATEC Pearl and ATEC Sapphire breast biopsy systems are appropriate units for this procedure. ATEC offers 9 and 12 gauge needle options that give the physician multiple choices for addressing the specific clinical needs of the patient. The trocar tip design allows for easy penetration into all breast tissue types. The ATEC has FDA clearance for complete removal of all visible evidence of benign breast disease. Many physicians choose to use the 9 gauge handpiece for sampling or removal of fibroadenomas and other large lesions. Position the patient lying on her back on the exam table to begin the preliminary scan that will identify the target lesion. Using a sterile cleanser, prepare the surface of the breast around the biopsy point of entry. Once the area of interest has been identified and confirmed, the patient can be prepared for biopsy. An anesthetic is injected at the skin surface at the area of interest and also injected deep into the target site. The tip of the biopsy needle will extend beyond the target site, so it is essential to administer anesthetic beyond this point. Surface and deep anesthetic injections help numb the entire biopsy site and decrease patient discomfort during the biopsy. At this time, an extra syringe of anesthetic may be attached to the ATEC Y valve. This permits additional anesthetic to be pulled into the biopsy cavity during each cutting cycle. Turn the ATEC console on which will automatically close the aperture and prepare the needle for insertion into the breast. A skin nick is made with a surgical blade to allow for easier entry prior to advancing the needle to the biopsy site. The ATEC system requires only one needle insertion, allowing you to take multiple samples throughout the entire biopsy procedure. Insert the ATEC needle into the breast and position appropriately to the target biopsy site. Most clinicians target below the lesion, turning the cutting aperture to the 12 o'clock position. The position of the lesion should be located in the center of the cutting aperture. This position allows for optimal visibility of the needle cutting cycles and lesion removal. The flat surface of the handpiece indicates the 12 o'clock position and serves as a tactile indicator for the location of the cutting aperture. A visual marker of this surface area is the ATEC logo. The numbers on the front and back of the handpiece indicate the clock position of the cutting aperture and are used as guides to indicate biopsy position during the procedure. When satisfied with your needle position, begin taking tissue samples by depressing the foot pedal that will activate the cutting cycle. It will take six seconds for the initial vacuum to build before the system will start sampling. Continue to depress the foot pedal throughout the tissue acquisition sequence until your desired number of samples have been taken, ideally rotating the handpiece between the 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock positions. Tissue acquisition occurs every 4.5 seconds. The manual rotation of the handpiece occurs during the resting phase of the 4.5 second cycle, just after the audible beep. When tissue acquisition is complete and with the needle still positioned in the breast, you may choose to switch the console to lavage mode by pushing the button marked lavage. Lavage mode continuously delivers saline to the biopsy site and aspirates the biopsy cavity, allowing loose tissue and other fluids to be cleansed from the site, clearing it for marker placement. Lavage the cavity until the fluid in the collection chamber indicates the cavity is clear. You are now ready to begin marking the biopsy site by placing a biopsy site identifier into the biopsy cavity. For this video demonstration, we will be using the Suro Solero Mark. The ATEC Trimark is also recommended for use in ultrasound. Remove the ATEC needle from the breast. Insert the deployment device through the skin nick to the biopsy cavity and depress the deployment device. Remove the marker deployment device from the breast. This completes the biopsy procedure. Immediately apply pressure to the biopsy site. Once bleeding has slowed, apply a Steri-Strip to the biopsy site. The cores are now ready to be retrieved from the tissue collection chamber at the back of the ATEC handpiece. 
Place one hand on the handpiece and the other on the collection chamber. Rotate the collection chamber counterclockwise to disengage the container from the handpiece. Remove the tissue filter basket. Using your fingers, grasp the thin metal wire that is at the top and around the tissue filter basket. Before pulling up on the wire, tilt the tissue filter basket toward the specimen collection dish to avoid losing any tissue samples. Appropriately dispose of all used ATEC product, such as handpiece, marker deployment device, canister, etc.